To form composites into meaningful products, you need advanced molding technology. Rocktool is a French company that pioneers these technologies. Let's go talk to them and find out how to turn carbon fiber polycarbonate sheets into something meaningful, like ultra-strong and ultra-light laptop covers, for example. So we are here at the Jack World 2017 and we can see a quite exciting molding machine behind you. Can you tell me a little bit about what makes your molding machine so unique? Uh, we, we try to explain uh, to uh, that industry um, the way, uh, perhaps the only way to achieve uh, one minute cycle time would be uh, to, uh, to follow that way. Uh, basically to combine uh, composite forming and plastic injection over molding in the same process. So it's why uh, we, we developed uh, that concept almost uh, two years ago to try to show what we, what we are assuming uh, will be the, the best way to make uh, hybrid parts uh, in the future. What is driving the demand for hybrid composites? In, in, in your demo you have a part which is part carbon fiber, polycarbonate composite and plastic. Uh, that's one example. I'm, I'm sure you have other examples. What's driving the demand for, for such parts? And then of course only the molding machines which are able to do that. Sure. I think for um, electronic industry it will be mainly PC or polyamide. For automotive industry it will be PP. So maybe a bit cheaper or maybe uh, polyamide as well. Um, today you have two ways to make a, a part. You can have a plastic part, good look, but strength won't be too, too high. Uh, another way is to use composite. Stiffness will be very high, but you will have some limitation on the design, some feature like that. So it's why people try to move on a best combination of both materials to obtain strength with a composite and to obtain a kind of a net shape with all the technical features on the back side with plastic injection. It's why a combination of both processes is probably the only way to achieve such performance. How important it is for you to, to work with, with companies like Covestro who are producing new materials? Uh, the point is uh, when you are working with, uh, I would say, a material provider, uh, for instance, Covestro is not only a material provider, it's a partner and it's part of development. You can say, I have a tool and right now I can use any materials. You are developing the tool at the same level, you are combining your process with a dedicated material. So it's why this kind of partnership, this kind of development, for instance, you need to add more or less fiber, you need to, to, to modify and to try to adapt the good material presentation for your process. So, I would say it's a balanced uh, development process and materials. So you're expecting from raw material producers a partnership in developing both the material characteristics and the process technology at the same time? Yeah, because uh, when, when you are doing that, sometimes it's working uh, with existing material. But knowing that and knowing the, I would say, weakness or maybe the good point to use such process, you can have some idea to try to modify or maybe to improve some properties of the material you can do easily in a standard process. It's why competition is a way to adapt the process to the material and to adapt also the material to the process at the same time. So, any greetings you would like to send to all the Jack World 2017 visitors which are here uh, at the fair, but also the ones who are still coming here? What would be your message and greetings to them? I think uh, I remember uh, joining the Jack Show, uh, I think almost 10 years ago. Uh, things are, uh, are changing and the big companies are, uh, are coming right now. Um, I think the funny thing is uh, we don't know what will be the composite tomorrow, so I hope we can be here to see uh, what will be the future of composites, but uh, probably uh, something, uh, something big. Thank you very much, Jose, for your comments. Welcome. Thank you.